Hey guys! So excited to do this video. So excited. Um, this is another thrift haul. two favorite thrift stores called Bargain Thrift. The, the original store is called Bargain Thrift. I went there first and then I went to their other store which which is dedicated to dollar items. So I call it the Dollar Warehouse because it looks like a warehouse. But it's also called Bargain Thrift, I guess number two. So anyway, I went there and for the first Bargain Thrift, the original one, they wasn't really having a sale. So I only bought some accessories. And I spent most of my money at the Dollar Warehouse, so, yeah. First, I'm going to start off by showing, I'm going to start off by showing my accessories. So, let's go on with the purses. So, stick around and stay tuned. And first, I'm going to show you my bags that I got. But first, let me show you these bags. These bags, I got two bags from my manager. They were actually for free. I went to my job, she was like, hey, I got some bags for you. So, I'm just go ahead and show you those bags. So I got this bag she gave to me. It's actually gray. And it's from New York and Company. Looks like this. I don't have a gray bag, so I was excited to get this. Um it has nice little back buckles right here. And I guess you can you know, it's just for decoration. And it looks like it's um, the color graduates because it's darker, and the lighter, and the darker. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or is it due because of wear, but I like it. So, this is the color. And it has a zipper right here. Ooh, right here. And it looks like that inside. You get little pockets, you know. Just like that. But yeah, she gave them to me. The next bag that she gave me was this one. It's this one. It's my favorite. It's cream and it has, I think this is um, blue patent leather snake skin. Looks like that. This is my favorite bag. I haven't worn it yet, but I love this bag. I was so happy to get this. And this looks like that kind of material. Makes that noise. So. Then it has a buckle, and this is called Chadwick. It's very clean on the inside. I don't even think she wore it, <laughs> but you know. So that's the bag she gave me. Moving on. Now this is the thrift haul. Um. So since we're talking about bags, I don't know where to start. I'm gonna start my jewelry first. And jewelry wise, the first thrift store that I went to was the original one and I, I that wasn't a dollar warehouse so I, most of my items were over a dollar <laughs> so I got these earrings they're actually like a, a fuchsia purple color and it has like a gold some kind of gold uh, embroidery uh, metal embroidery looks like that I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks like that. I'll take pictures at the end. And these were two bucks. Two dollars. Then from that store I got this chain. It's like a an indigo blue or not like a navy blue a deep royal blue. And it has gold chains. It goes all the way down like that. I got this for three dollars. And this is by Exhilaration. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the original price was fourteen ninety nine. They saw Exhilaration at Target. So this is a Target item. And it looks just like that. It matched my shirt. So I got that for three dollars. Also at that 
store, I got a purse. Now this purse is one of my favorites too. Bam! This is actually, um, let me button it up for you. I was so happy to see this. I've seen this on my way out. This is not black because it's showing up on my camera black. It's actually green. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a forest green and brown leather purse. And it's by Capizo. Capizo. I don't know. But I looked up the uh, the company. And they actually don't sell leather bags anymore. They sell like dance equipment. Like leotards and ballerina duffel bags. Stuff like that. Cat shoes. So they don't sell this item. I mean leather bags anymore. So. It has a, ooh, I felt a pen. <laughs> it has a um, zipper in the back. It has a handle right here with brass um, circles. Um, on the side, it actually has a clasp for um, a strap, but I couldn't find a strap to this. It didn't have one in there, so I like carrying it just like this, you know. You know, if I didn't put it in there, it'd be like this. I like it just like that. I wouldn't even wear it the um, shoulder strap. The inside, it has like this little latch right here. You open it up and it has two compartments. This is, this is the main. So, and it was two dollars. Oh, you guys can see that. Got it for two bucks. So, this is real leather too. We actually, because you know it was real leather when you scratch. You don't see no marks. So, yeah. So, everything beyond this point I got for a dollar. So, moving on to the dollar warehouse. The accessories that I got there, one of my favorite are these gold, these gold metal earrings. It has like a star um, design on it. Looks just like that. I actually wore these once already. <laughs> I love them. Love them. So these are the dollar. So got these mint green marble um studs. Looks like that. My camera's not doing the color any justice, but it's mint green. I'm gonna take pictures at the end. And I also got these clip-ons. It's like black and um, like a black shell, and have a gold um stripe down the middle. So these are clip-ons. Yeah, the old style. Haven't worn these yet, but yeah, you get the picture. One of my favorite bags that I got from Dollar Warehouse. Bam! Oh my God! I was so happy to find this bag. So happy. Oh, I had nothing like this. This is so pretty. All right, it's a, it's a burgundy. Um, so much going on. It's a burgundy bag, as you can see. It's a little darker than what is coming up on the camera, but it's burgundy. Um. It has like this material here and snake skin. I don't know if this is real snake skin. Feels like it though. It really does. It's nice and soft. Um, and then it has like this little other. Let me just put it up. It also has like a, a gold triangle here. But this is how you open it. It's like a snap. And then you pull it open like that. <laughs> Love it. So it's like material on the inside. Uh guess it says Sylvia. If you know that's the name of it. It's by Sylvia. Um never heard of that before, but yeah, this is so eighties. I love this damn bag. I'm sorry guys. I love this bag. And I got this for a dollar at the dollar warehouse. So yeah, it has a matter here. You can take it out and do wear it like this. Or you can keep the dot in, wear it like this, you know. I don't know. I guess you could actually, 
Ouch. Ooh, that hit it. I actually put the strap in the inside. And you can wear it like a clutch or something. You know, I'm going to have so much fun with this bag. No, wait, wait. One more accessory. Okay. I've been looking for, uh, what do you call them shoes? I don't know what you call these shoes, but I've been looking for them for the longest. At every thrift store, and all my thrift stores, these shoes selection suck. But I was lucky to find these. I love these shoes, and these are the type of shoes I was trying to look for. They lace up, and it's real leather. And guess what, you guys? It's by, can you see that? Nine West. Nine West. It's real. Yeah, it was a little damaged, you know, it was a lot of wear tear, like this, the inside, um, you know, the, uh, the heel, but, you know, I want it to look like it's been worn, I want the worn look, so, yeah, these shoes look amazing on my feet, like, I would take a picture of that, so, but, these are size, these are size 9M, which I guess is a 9 medium. Um, I wear a 9W because I have wide feet, <laughs> so 9 wide, that's the size I wear. I'll put them on, I'm going to, since leather stretch a little bit, I think once I get, make them, um, once I wear it and stuff, make it, um, fit my feet, you know, stay going to be comfortable. This, this, this leather is so, like, soft. <laughs> so these are my dollar, I got these for a dollar at the dollar warehouse. So it's just like a braided black, uh, braided black belt, you know. So, you know, it's good for cinching and things. Or I can put it at my waist, whatever. I just, so I have it in, um, I have it in brown also. So brown and black. And then I have something else like it. This is like a suede, it's like suede. And... It's um tan, the suede tan, and this is actually by Calvin Klein. I don't know if you guys can see that. So yeah, I like this belt, and it's a little thicker than these. So these are my braided belts. Also have an a, um a skinny navy belt, and this is also good for cinching in your waist. So I have this um. So this material, we not we, but cotton material belt, and on the ends it has brown um it has brown uh leather. So it looks like that. I think this is a man's belt because it's like 42, and yeah. So it's probably it doesn't fit it doesn't fit in right here because it's too big for my waist, so I probably wear this around my hips, so, you know, because this, this is also a man's belt, it's a size 44, I like this belt because this is a solid brass, and just look at it, it's um, forest green, and it has, like, fat looking cut on it, and if you actually go closer, it's a, um, dark mouth, dark mouth, uh, 1769, I'm guessing that's a college, I heard it, I think I did hear it at college, so I'm going to look it up, uh, it has a school on it, so it must be a college, so 1769, that's either when the, I don't think that's when the person graduated, because that would be a really old belt, I'm guessing that's when the, um, college, um, was founded, and it's a Vox Clematis in Desperado, I don't know, I have to do research about this belt, but I thought this was so unique, like, this belt really looks good, I love it. <coughs> oh, I have to tell you, most of my stuff is, uh, winter wear, because they still haven't put out summer things or spring things, so... Yeah. This turtleneck, um, this is by Jones New York Sport. It's a size medium. It has a little bit of ruching right here. Um, the turtleneck is not super, you know, high. 
and the plant is so amazing. It looks like that. It's like uh, brown, brown, black, white, and like a rust color. I you guys can see that. So I thought that was cute. You know. Button up. And it's a size medium. It has shoulder pads and the print is just amazing. Look at the print. It's like red, or rust color, um, blue, green, white, cream. OMG, you guys. I love this print. I'm going to put it on for you. It has shoulder pads in it, too. So I'm thinking about just crunching it up. And just wear it some kind of way. I'm not really sure how I'm going to wear it yet. I might wear it with some tights. You know. I don't know. I could wear it with this. Like, I got tights on. You know. I could do something like that. I don't know, you guys. I just, I just didn't want to leave it. I could either button it up and wear it like that. I just didn't want to leave it. It's like three quarter sleeve. I guess because the arm is like really short, and I have short arms, so yeah. I thought this was amazing. This is um 100% silk, and it has red, green, yellow, brown, burgundy. Rust color. OMG, y'all. This fabric feels so good. So good. Sorry, guys. I keep looking over here. It's my TV. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it feels so good. And this is a size 1X. And I just love this button-up. I like the way it fit. It was really baggy. Um, I can cinch it in. Um... There's many ways to wear a button up. It go go with my butt, so I could wear it with some um I could wear it with some tights, you know. I could do a lot of things with it. I love it. It'll be nice with some jeans, a uh, um cardigan, a tight cardigan. Uh you know. I just love it. This feels so good, so so that'll be nice for the spring. I found two dresses. This is one, and this is by Don Elliott Sport Dress. Looks like this. It has shoulder pads. It has nice pockets with button details. It's um, indigo blue, teal green, and like a fuchsia color purple. Love it, and it buttons up. And then I'm thinking about shortening this dress. To make it shorter, like a little bit above my knee, because right now it's below my knee and I'm already short. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it on for you guys. So, yeah, it looks like this. It has pockets right here, which is amazing. And this is how long it is, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm thinking about bringing it up to here and wear some tights with it. This is how I'm gonna wear it. And that I have a sewing machine, so that's how I'm gonna wear it. And I'm not going to wear no tights like this. I'm going to wear like stockings, like opaque tights. And this will be a nice uh, spring dress. Like, I love these colors. And they say these colors look nice on my skin. What do you guys think? So, yeah. And what I probably would do is um, probably will wrap a belt around it. Most likely, I'll put a belt around it. Well, y'all get the gist. So, yeah, this is so amazing. Bam! Look at this. It has, like, high shoulders right here. It has a cinched in the waist with scrunchie on the back. Like a, like a ruching kind of thing. Um, the color is like a burgundy and cream. And I think this looks so amazing with my skin tone. Like... Oh my gosh. And it has like buttons right here. I will take I'm taking these off and I'm gonna replace I might no, I'm actually I'm just gonna take them off and like belt it. 
Like, I think I'm going to wear a nice belt with this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And this is also long, but I like the length on this one. I don't know why. I just, I just think it's all right. I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you guys. And here, fix the shoulder pads. I don't know if I'm, I'm only one. I might take the shoulder pads out. We will see. But yeah, see, I can't get the rest. <laughs> but this is how it looks. And it doesn't have any pockets. But I like this. I'm really liking this. So I will take these off and. I think I will belt it. Do a belt kind of thing. Maybe not this belt, but you know, I have a brown belt. But yeah. And, you know, just accessorize with it. I have this amazing necklace right here that looks nice with it. Oh, I might wear these shoes with it. It's like this nice tote. I might not wear these shoes. I'm just saying. Just grab me some shoes, you know. But if you think I should cut it, you guys, take an inch or so off, tell me what you think. This is how long it is. This is my knee. So this is how long it is. And I'm short, so... I think this is just so adorable. Maybe about, I don't know. I, I don't know, I just like it long. You know, Nancy dresses that in. Okay, that's enough about this dress. I do love this dress. So, this is a sweatshirt that I felt. This is by Hanes. And I think actually somebody had this shirt and got this spray painted or some kind of paint. And they also put like around, well, like stones on it. Like studs on it. Stones. They put studs on it. So, yeah. I thought this was cute. Now for this, what I had in mind was a uh, crop top in it. Like cut it into a crop top. But my cousin was like, no, you should wear it like that. <sighs> I don't know. We will see. I'm not really into sweat sweatshirts. But the crop top thing, I was like, mm, I can see this is a nice crop top. So, yeah. Look at this, you guys. Bam. <laughs> and on front. You have zebra on this side. And this one actually, it feels like it has rabbit hair on it. It looks like hair, too. You have um, cheetah print. Or some kind of, no, this is like cheetah. And this looks like a, I don't know, a, some kind of dark frog or, I don't know, it's just animal print sweater. It has like a um, collar and the back looks plain. I was thinking about wearing this with some tights. It's just a nice oversized sweater. Just wear those some tights and pair those, um, those non-less shoes laced up with it. You know, nothing major. Love it. Trying to see what kind of material is this. It's lamb wool. It's cotton lamb wool angora. I think angora is like um rabbit <laughs> and nylon. So like, wow, this really is an animal. It's like, I I mean, some people might have uh feelings about wearing animals. Sorry to offend anybody. And this is also an oversized sweater. Um, this is just like a nice, you know, going out on the weekend. Um, you wear this with jeans, khakis, you know, it's like a taupe, cream, gold, and some kind of beige color. That's what it looks like. This it's not really soft, so a little weird. But yeah, I thought this was cute. Now this sweater, I'm not really a fan of. My cousin thinks it looks nice on me. 
And she said the color looks good with my skin complexion that I should get it. But I'm not really a fan of it. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to show you guys it. And it has shoulder pads. And it has the and I mean, so don't get me wrong, the colors are, are pretty, and the flower work is so pretty. I like the purple in there, um, the green olive, and like this color, rosy pink and cream. All those colors look fabulous. But I don't know, you guys. If you like this sweater, please let me know. Like, I don't know. Think I should wear it? Just let me know. Oh, and the tag says knit by hand. Kind of you guys can see that. Anyway, that say knit it by hand. So whoever made this has really nice skills. And it's polka dot. So um, this is actually by Liz Claiborne. It's a size medium. And it's like lightweight cable tape. Um, I could wear this as a skirt because it's like, I mean a dress because it's long enough. And just put some um, opaque type underneath. Um, yeah, it's nice and long. It looks nice on me. So, it's like a brown color, like a sable brown. Yeah. It's just a simple top. Um, Alpha Donner. And it looks like this. It's like a blue till. This is actually till, not like a far screen as it's coming up on, on the screen. So till, blue, and cream. And it has nice um, buttons going down it. I thought this was fun, you know, something you could just throw on. And these are, this is not functional, so it doesn't open until it's quite again. It's a sweater. So I'll use this thing. And I thought it had potential. It still has potential. It's a size 14WP. Um, it's like a sea green color. And it's actually sheer. Oh, you guys can see that. That is actually sheer on the arms. See, it's sheer. But anyway, so it looks like that. It has um nice pink flowers, mm, like a blue sea, a sea blue. But anyway, it, it has this thing right here. This little shirt looking thing underneath it, but it can't come out like it's attached to the wall of the thing. So I'm just going to get a steam stripper and take the whole shirt part out because I'm not wearing this. I'm going to take this whole thing out, get a um, steam stripper and just go down the sides and then take it out. And I'm going to wear this jacket like a, like a blazer. And that's how I'm going to wear it, like a blazer. I could put one arm in and show you guys. It give you a little, little something when I'm idea what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna wear it like that, like a blazer. Just like that. It's a blazer. It's a size large, and it looks. Asymmetrical. It's really dark. It has burgundy, navy blue, um, forest green, a uh, little bit of burgundy, or oh, I said burgundy, forest green, blue, black, and like uh, olive green color. And on this side, it has two buttons. Looks like that. So let me go ahead and put this on for you.
So it has like these little points right here. I don't think I'm going to be closing it because of my chest. It's like huge. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm excited about it. These are not shoulder pads. It just make that. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Anyway. OMG. I found this amazing blazer. Amazing. Amazing blazer. And when I first seen it, I was like, hmm, this looking looking pretty good. Then when I see who it was made by Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did double take like, oh no, I'm throwing this in my cart. But then I tried to see what size it was because it looked really small on a hanger. I'm like, uh, uh, hopefully. So I couldn't find the size. Somebody cut the tags out, of course. But anyway, I'm going to just show you. Bam! Now, this is like a, uh, like a, not a sea green. Yeah, I could say like, like a sea green color. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the blazer. It's like so well made. And you can tell. It has one button, which I'm going to replace because it's so hideous. <laughs> um, I'm going to replace it with a metal, gold metal button. Um, it has shoulder pads made and inside the um, lining. Um, okay, let me just tell you who it's made by. Can you read that? Giorgio Armani. And it's made in Italy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Giorgio Armani. When I see that, I freaking flip to like Armani, Giorgio Armani. OMG. At the thrift store. Dollar Warehouse. <sighs> so I'm going to throw it on for you. This is what it looks like. It has these things. Because it was tied in the back. Like so. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this blazer. Like, it's so... I don't, I don't like these. I don't like this thing right here. I don't think I'm going to tie it at all. I want to cut it off, but then again, I don't want I don't want to cut it. So, ooh, it looks cute like that. It has pockets, you guys. OMG, who put this in the thrift store? Who put it in the thrift store? Whoever it was, I want to say thank you. Thank you. because I thought about her when I shot. I was with her. So I want to give a shout out to um, Sabria. Hey, Sabria. It's a silk shirt. It's 100% silk. It feels amazing. Um, It has pretty colors. It has fuchsia red and black. It's like flowers. It has like these little uh, tassels right here. You know, it's tassels. And it has a little bit of shorter pads. And on the back, it has like a um, that enclosure, so it's like a peephole right here. And it's like a little shirt at the top. And it's just like a baby doll, like a baby doll shirt. It's kind of like a puff sleeve right here. But I just thought it looked amazing. Like, if this was my size, I would wear it. No way in hell I'm getting to this. This is size 4, too, so no way I'm getting into this. So, yeah, I got that pair. This flower blazer and it looks like this I don't almost like these colors again it's fuchsia green it has like a little bit of cobalt blue in it and black and it has like this nice black cable weave thing right here going all the way down and the material is like a quilt it has shoulder pads and it has a nice little gold um 
button. So yeah, I got this for her. Hope she likes it. I told my other cousin to try it on for her. Because they like around the same size. So yeah, it looks amazing. I hope she like it. I think she would. We had the similar taste. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this haul from the store. If you like if you did, please like press the like button down below. And if you have any questions, please comment below or inbox me. Um, oh yeah, what I want you guys to do is to pick the items, any any items that you like, write it in the comment box if you want me to do a lookbook for you. If you want me to dress it up or something or turn it into an outfit, I would do a lookbook based on the items that you pick for me to use. So if you want to see it, just say, hey, I want you to do a lookbook with uh, a sweater or the blazer that you bought, and I will do it. You have until Friday, next Friday, or this Friday coming up, the date will be here. So, yeah, um, so thanks for watching. Um, please like if you like this video. Please write all your comments down below or inbox me. Um, please press the subscribe up top if you want to, um, more videos about me and my thrifting and all kinds of makeup hauls. Oh, and if you like the makeup look that I have on, my Nicki Minaj look. Um, I have a video which we posted right here. So please click this. And that will take you to this makeup look. And um, I think that's it, you guys. <laughs> I wish I had more stuff. But I had too much um, thrift and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Always stay true to yourself and don't let nobody else tell you otherwise.